Hi, welcome to Eugene's tutorial, Windows Form Application using c -sharp Net Framework to XAMPP Server. In this form we need to change its properties first before adding some tools. The following procedures are in need to show this form to the center of the screen. Also we need to auto-scale to none so if you change the font size it will not change its size. If you want to change the font of the form and its name just follow the procedure. Microsoft Visual Studio is an integrated development environment from Microsoft. Used to develop computer programs as well as websites, web apps, web services and mobile apps. For changing its background just go to Properties and Back Color. Now we can add some tools for us to interact with. If you want to align this tools just follow the steps. Now, we need to rename the design and place holders of the button and text box. For us to communicate with a server, we need to add a MySQL connector. MySQL Connector Net 8.0 supports the X protocol, which enables you to use the X Dev API. With the .NET language, we can develop applications that communicate with a MySQL server, functioning as a document store, relational database, or both. Once the connector is installed, you can use it to create, modify, and delete connections. When mysqldata.dll, we can now connect to the server, all we need now is connection string. We need to call or activate the MySQL data client to use its libraries.
MySQL connection represents an open connection to a MySQL database. Server is a computer program which manages access to resource or service in a network. Connection string is a string that specifies information about a data source. It is passed in code to an underlying driver or provider in order to initiate the connection. XAMPP is a free and open source cross platform web server consisting MariaDB database. XAMPP application is the server we use for to serve our connection to MySQL database. Talking about a local host, you are referring to when a server is used on your own computer. Local host is not just the name for the virtual server, but also its domain name. We must input the connection string well or else we can't connect to the server. Now inside of the button we need to open the connection and check if it's working. The try statement allows you to define a block of code to be tested for errors while executed. The catch statement allows you to define a block of code to be executed. If an error occurs in the try block, The trigger is the button. We will open the connection or close it after the execution. Then if the connection is successful we will show it in text box in the designer's form. Let's test first if our exception code will run if the connection string server address is removed. So the try exception is working and show the error is occurring in message box. Now let's bring back the correct connection string and test the program again. Now it's done. Please subscribe to Eugene's tutorial for more videos about C-sharp language. Thanks for watching.